All right, so I guess I need to say something um, for the replay, if I allow it to be a replay. Um, but this video, this live video is about where I've been and what I've been doing and why you haven't seen me. And, uh, and you might not care. Hey, what's up, tech, for your needs? Hello, begone simp. I don't think I know you, but hello, um, take for your knees. I'm just going live to just let people know. Hey, everybody, just let everybody know that I'm still around, but I, I caught the photography bug. I've always had it. I've always had it and I'm getting ready for a shoot today. I got somebody coming over. Don't worry. I'm gonna put on my mask. But I got somebody coming over and just trying to get my equipment ready. They want a what's up, Apple Monster. And they want a white background, you know. And uh, it's, it, it's so difficult. It's so difficult to be a, the audiophile herself and be the photographer and be the assistant principal and be the mom and everything else that I'm supposed to be. And it's. You know, to be honest, I just got burned out. And if you guys were with me throughout that journey, I mean, let's be honest. I made two, three videos. And though, and my viewership and those subscribers just <laughs> took off. And I, was, and I was holding on for dear life and just riding by the seat of my pants. And yeah, by the time I did the Raycon video, I was spent. I'm talking about just, y'all remember Mike Tyson punch out? What's up, Cuzzo? What's up, Tammy? Y'all remember Mike Tyson punch out when the guy, when the man, um, they would do like this and then you'd knock them out and they just fall back on and hit the canvas. That's how I was. Okay. But um, artistically, I still got to keep going. I still got my photography business going and I do plan for a comeback. It just might not be all headphones. Because I'm going to tell you now, that burned me out too. Because this is the deal. You like, okay, you unbox them. Okay, this is the packaging. It looks great. And uh, these are the specs. Now let's hear how they sound. And you hear how they sound and you report how they sound. And that's the video. And I think I'm going to expand and maybe do a little more some other things. Margaret Luther, how are all my Facebook friends on my YouTube channel? But anyway, you know where I have been. You got my number. You can call me if you if you want to see me. You know that. Come down here for a photo shoot, Margaret. I know y'all have a, 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 another photographer somewhere, but, you know, for local stuff, you can come down here. I got some people coming right now, actually, so just call me. Anyway, so that's the story. and uh, But some of you that were my YouTube buddies, I'm glad to see you back in here. Hey, everybody. Yep. So I got a client. She went by the makeup artist. So this is what I do. I teamed up with um, a girl that I used to coach. One of my basketball players is a hairdresser and a makeup artist. And I actually have to credit another local photographer who came in while I was off YouTubing and off, you know, just taking a photography break. And he does that. He has his own person that he refers his clients to. Thank you, AM. He refers his clients to. And without congesting the market and without, you know, it's a small area. So it's not, it's, it's, it's about four of us here. And, and I don't want to be a part of any competition or any kind of crowding. So I just got my player um, hey, Mike got my uh, player to do it. So my client is over there and she's getting all dolled up and I got to figure out just how to place my lights and everything. I'm going to let you know what I shoot with though. How about that? Would y'all like that? Thank you guys, man. Y'all are my, I need to come up with a name. The sharp squad is corny, but I need to come up with a name for my people. Cause Apple monster, Michael pepper tech talk tech for your knees. Y'all are my dudes. Now, this is my baby. This is the Canon EOS. Hey, what's up, Coach Dre? 
EOS 6D Mark II. Now, this is the runt of the letter. Nobody wants a 6D Mark II. If it's not the 5D Mark IV or one of the Canon R series, they don't want it. Well, I want it because I'm going to tell you what. I get some great results with this. Great results. That's all right, big on simp. I'm glad about that. I still listen to mine for real. All right, so Canon 6D Mark II. This is my trigger, my Godox trigger. This powers up or powers off. This light, that's the AD400 Pro. I'm going to tell you right now. I had everybody telling me, no, get two AD200s. And no, they don't need all that. Yes, I do. It's what I want. It's what I got. And my clientele has been a blessing. And the light's already paid for. Next. Now, <laughs> for what else I need, I got two uh, newer Young, what is that? Young Nuo uh, TT850s right here. It's just a hot shoe flash. And this is what I'm going to be using to light my backdrop, my white. You got to light a white backdrop. I'm going to tell you right now, you have to, you have to. Um, this is the transmitter. So this light doesn't have internal transmission, but I have to put this on and the Godox controller will signal to this to make this fire. And so I've got this shooting out of this umbrella onto the white. Got another one over here. Boom. And this is my re white reflector. Now what I found with my reflector, the last shoe, I actually like the silver concept because it's just, it's just more reflective, but this reflector was putting a cast in the people's eyeglasses. So I gotta be mindful of that, but this is just to provide a feel now, I've got another flash here and here. This is a beauty dish by Westcott that I got from a local photographer. Thanks to him, Andre, for helping me get back on my feet. But in here, um, I was just finding that this light, and I'm going to bring this down a little bit, but this light was just great for this side of their body. And the fall off of light over here was so terrible to me. Now, I, I mean, the pictures came out great. But I'm just going to add this over here as a fill light um, so that this reflector doesn't have to work so hard. Not that it has to work at all anyway. You know what tech for your knees? I bet my internet is holding up. And you know that has always been a problem. Which is why you don't see me any more than you do. But um, if it gets too bad, y'all let me know and we'll just cut off. It's all right. Okay. Oh, and so my modifier. This is the Glow Easy Lock 32 inch beauty dish. Single handedly, hands down, one of the best investments I have ever made for my photography business. I mean, the light that it produces. I very seldom use the grid, I have used it, but I don't. I don't use it that much, especially not for an all white backdrop shoot. Now, lenses. My favorite lens for portraits. I'm gonna tell you right now, I don't want another lens. I'm gonna add probably a 50 to this, but my favorite lens is on the camera. It's the 85 millimeter 1.4. I, I, it's, it's really to the point where when I take it out of the bag, I know it's gonna be money. 504. What are y'all talking about? Hey, hey, 504. Thank you. Okay, that's what it is. You did their MPT. Okay, okay, y'all talking. Got it. Tech loving mama, what's going on? Oh, I'm so glad to see y'all. You just don't know. I miss you. I miss all of you. Now, my walk around lens. Now I can't get the chat off my screen. Great. 
<laughs> walk around lens is the 28 to 70. I shot a whole, this October, I shot a whole entire wedding with this lens. And uh, it was a small wedding, you know, it was COVID. So I couldn't really, wasn't a whole lot going on like where I needed to. I could use my feet to cover ground, but this was, this came through. I don't like it so much for portraits, but it'll do the job. It's going to do the job today because this is a full body shoot and the 85 is not, I got to get, like this is, y'all see the backdrop, right? I got to come all the way back here and lean into the sink if I'm going to shoot with the 85 today. Okay, I, um, you can definitely do that. Definitely message me out. I don't mind. Um, not at all. It, it's, it's mostly going to come down to what you want to do and what your budget is. And if you're going to use the camera to make money, then how much are you willing to give up? And how much time are you willing to wait to make that money back? So, but by all means, definitely, definitely check me out. Definitely, um, you know, hit me up. But yeah, guys, I have, I got boxes of stuff. I know the people are so mad at me. Hey, Sean. I know the people are so, so mad. It's terrible. It's just horrible. And there's more. It's kind of like when an artist, like a painter, loses his, his, his motivation. It's like he, he's blocked. That's kind of what it's like, what it's been like. Um, but we'll be back. But I've been busy. I've been busy. I cannot, I cannot do nothing. So it just kind of, just kind of rotates. And then I don't know if y'all know. I don't know if y'all are into into that crypto. But um, all I'm gonna say is do your own research. And. I think we're getting ready to see a paradigm shift in our financial system and the way we do things. And as long as you're in the know, as long as you're knowledgeable, there's some opportunities out there for you to close the wealth gap, if you know what I mean. Just saying, I know a lot of people in the Forex trading too. You know, whatever. I know that I am tired of living in a world where you get a paycheck, you spend a paycheck. Then you pray until the next paycheck. Wash, rinse, and repeat. I'm tired of that life. And I, I know y'all are too, but... Um, y'all got any questions? Y'all talk to me. I, I, I'm kind of rambling now. I think... Uh-oh. Okay, cancel. Oh, I know what. I saw something that good, good perspective gaming. I I saw something. Um, a couple of the guys were live streaming about some Reddit people that were complaining about YouTubers, tech YouTubers asking for subs, and I was kind of beside myself when I didn't even look at any of the streams, but just at the notion because again, I have been watching. I've been watching crypto videos, for example, and those guys, they want to they wanna like in a subscription immediately. And not only do they ask for it two or three times, but they have the graphics and the sound effects and, and a dinging bell. Not just clicks, but they have everything. And I'm just like, who on Reddit has a problem with tech reviewers asking for subs? And I, I really feel like we might be in one of the least, we, we may be lo a little disrespected as a genre, okay? Um, 
I've got friends uh, on the platform who've who've made more than 500 videos, more than a thousand videos, and the sub counts are not showing. They're not showing their their worth, you know. And for somebody to say we don't have the right to ask for subs, and I've had co people comment on my channel, how you gonna ask for? Well, of course, this is my voice. How are you going to ask for a sub uh, less than 30 seconds in? And those, some of you here know me very well. <laughs> it's all I could do not to blast them back. But my attitude is, if you don't want a sub, don't tap, the, don't press it and move on. You know, they don't know, people don't know what it takes for you guys and me to, to actually sit down and write out and script a show. And 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 then how many times do we have to stop because we make mistakes? How many times are we talking and we get tongue-tied and have to go and do it again? And then when we get in post, we have to go through and cut out those things. We gotta color grade it and we've gotta uh, make sure the sound is correct. And then we finally get it uploaded. Yeah, after all of that, I deserve to ask for a sub every minute on the minute, if that's what I want to do in my video, after all that it, that I went through to, to get it ready for viewing. So I don't know that with my temperament, I need to get in that conversation because it could go left. I'm just very passionate about that. And as a YouTuber myself, I know the struggle. Absolutely, 504. They sure do. They do. I just, I just said, those, um, I just said those guys on the, um, in the crypto space. I mean, it's they go hard. Like this, like, hit that like button, smash that describe. Whoa. Well, hey, thank you, Aggie Pride. I don't know who you are, but thank you and bless you. Um, I don't have a, oh my goodness, I don't have a, um, a dance. That's okay. You guys do the dance and I'm going to have one for the next time. That's all right. Uh, Aggie Pratt, type your real name. We, I think we went to high school together. My daughter goes up. North Carolina a and If y'all didn't know, I'm going to be honest. I went to Elizabeth City State University, but North Carolina a and really is the best, uh, HBCU in the nation. It really is. They just weren't offering free scholarships when I was a senior. My school was, and that's how what I had to do. But just as long as you know. Um, but yes, five hundred four. They all, they all ask for subs. They all ask you to smash the like button, hit that subscribe button, and turn those notifications on so you don't miss my next upload. And it's 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 it's, it's like they preaching. It's like they they hoping or something in the pulpit. <laughs> And I and we all we're so humble. We're all recording with the consumer in mind, with the viewer in mind, and with the terrible comments we got from the last video in mind. And uh, we need to stop doing that and understand that if somebody has not recorded the first, if they barely record videos with their cell phone, they are not in a position to to strike us down and, and, and make us feel bad for the job that we do. And that's how I feel. Hey, what time is it? Now, one thing about my makeup artist, Cheryl, she gonna take every bit of 45 minutes to apply that makeup. Every bit. Y'all got that one room in your house when you walk by and you look in it and you just. <sighs> That's my office. So I can't. I can't. I can't share that with y'all today. It's not organized. I might give you a sneak peek. It's just. I just got all my, my stuff in there. See? Actually, if I went in there and um, got everything like I like it, I might be feel inspired to create something in there beyond editing pictures.
And I do want to share one other thing with you all that I did teach myself how to do over the winter break. Y'all are not going to be ready for this, though. Not going to be ready. A bulldog. I'm a South Carolina State alum, but... Okay. Well, thank you, Mr. Bulldog. All right. Y'all y'all not going to be ready. Y'all ready? Y'all want to know what I know how to do now? So, so one of my um some one of my best friends is getting was get is getting married and we had our bachelorette weekend and they told me that I was in charge of the music. And I was like, all right, well, let me see if I can find a local DJ. And they were like, no, this, no, it's too much money. We're not doing all of that. We just need you to bring your phone and your playlist. I said, well, gosh, that's, that's boring. And instead, I borrowed a controller from a guy at work just to see if I had the coordination. Now, I don't scratch. I don't scratch. That's a little bit too advanced. I'm too old to just start learning how to scratch now, but I did learn how to beat match. And my favorite genres, my favorite eras is the 80s and 90s, R&B and hip hop. I didn't play enough new music for them, but they'll be okay. They got plenty of uh, Keith Sweat, I'll be sure, uh, you know, TLC. They got all of that. Heavy D. They even got some fat boys in there, you know. Anyway, so once I found that I could actually manipulate the controller that I borrowed, I went out and got one, and I was disciplined. I got the cheapest one they, they would sell me um, for regular, you know, to be able to standard, you know, do standard mixes, and it really went well, and sometimes I wanted to go live like they do, you know, <laughs> but I said, no, I'm not going to do that because I, that's really all over the place, but that's just an example of being multifaceted and just wanting to try different things. And then with each thing, it gets me a little further away from returning to the platform on a regular basis, but um, it is what it is. And I'm still on the platform. I'm going live now, so we're good. We're good. <clears throat> hey, Deidre. Just come on. Sorry about that. I know that was extremely rude. That's why <laughs> one of my uh, best friends is here. And you know how some people got to text you before they come in? That was that situation. But, um, but yeah, that's what's been going on with me is always want to try, but if I, you know what, the investment is, who's, who, who am I talking to first? Old BD1. Maxi. Hey, we're on YouTube live. Joe. <laughs> <laughs> Now, okay, now listen, let me tell you about the investment. <laughs> Old, I like it when I do that to my friends. <laughs> All right, so the investment is high if you try to be gig ready when you make the initial investment. Now, I took, man, my nephew and I went to, to Real Talk, the best Bluetooth. Wait, I'm going to get back to that. Let me answer this question. Uh, I can't answer that question real talk because I have, I'm kind of out of the game. Like Raycon, they, I'm going to tell you about Raycon in a minute. I haven't really listened to the latest and greatest, so I'm, I'm not the one. You might need to check out El Jefe reviews or um, 
game ski and some of those guys to be to really get an honest answer. If I give you an answer today, I'm gonna give you a, the name of a pair of headphones that's like a year or two old. Real talk. Listen, when you first start making the investment to DJ, you don't go in and buy enough to 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 do the club. You just you pick a starter controller. And you learn how to play. You when you get ready to upgrade, you upgrade. You might sell that controller on eBay. If you're not getting gigs, no, uh-uh, no. We're gonna get back to that too. No, I did not try the Apple over ear headphones, but I'm gonna tell you why, and I'm gonna just tell you why. Back to the DJ stuff. Look, you just walk. You just slow walk it. I went to Guitar Center with my nephew who needed a, a, a first controller. He was probably looking at the Pioneer SB2. It's a $500 controller. I turned my back for a minute and the guy was trying to sell him $5,000 worth of equipment. And I said, come on here. Come on. No, no. I'm trying to give him speakers and all. He doesn't, he doesn't even know how to play yet. So just take your time. Like, just, Please do not, don't let yourself get to the end of your life. And you're looking back on all the things you wish you would have tried. Okay. Real talk. I did not try those Apple headphones. Because I, I kind of got a... <clears throat> I'm headphoned out, number one. I, I need a break. Number two... Apple knows that that doesn't make a damn bit of sense. Excuse my language. But they could, they need to, that, I, I just was not, thank you, baby, um, thank you. I just, I was not going to spend $500 on those headphones. I didn't want to hear them bad enough. I did not. Because Apple has branded itself to be the best mobile brand. I mean, you know, Samsung kudos and everything. And I'm not trying to start an Android iPhone war. Um, Apple products, you know, they rock. But I just thought that was, un I thought that was just too much. And I have an iPhone. I have an iMac. I love, I love Apple products. But that, that was just too expensive. Anybody else up here listen to those headphones? In the meantime, y'all, do you know, you guys know that I had that great big video, the Raycon video, right? And um, I have to do, if I don't do any more headphones, you're yeah, right. You know what? I don't know how much the Apple Car will cost, and I won't know unless I read it online because god i'll buy a tesla first raycon sent me an email in the upgraded e55s and the email was so nice and they said they made the corrections the upgrades to these based upon my critique of My critique of the, the what was it? What are these? These are the E25s. I did the E55s. And it, they I, and I really did them. Oh, I did them in in the video, but they really weren't. They weren't garbage, but they weren't like the, the commercials tried to make them out to be at all. So I don't mind. Marketing is, is definitely there's a place for it. There's a place for marketing, but when you are misleading people and you got famous people in there that listen to music and make music for for a living, acting like it's it's audio gold and it's not. There is there's my brother from uh another mother. Hey El Jefe. I'm doing well. I'm doing well. We've got to catch up. We got to catch up. I see you've been doing well. I see, I see you still pumping out the videos. Um, yeah, I'm doing okay. Um, 
you know, you could go back and look at the replay, but I'm getting ready for a photo shoot. I can't get away from the photography for some reason. Um, so you might see some different looking content from me in the future. Now, somebody asked me about some headphones. I'm going to just tell y'all this. You can ask me, you can ask Jeff, you can ask anybody what's the best earbuds. But we all have our own listening preferences. Now, I gave the Impal 055, 059s, I, I gave them the business when I reviewed them because they didn't have enough bass for me. For me. And then I have people in my comments saying that the bass was fine for them. Some people will translate that into, I disagree with your review or I think you're wrong. No, this is my perspective. Um, so when you're looking for headphones and earbuds, you have to first take into account, well, what do I like? Do I like rumbling bass? Do I like clean, tight bass? Or do I like little low base. And then you look at the specs and you read the reviews. So if you don't like base, then you don't need to go buy the Sony uh, XB 900s, 950s. They make your they make you can feel the base in your neck. All right? So it's about a preferred sound signature. That's the first thing you need to what do you like? Once you know that then when you watch reviewers on YouTube and they're describing the sound for you and, and, and different songs that you may or may not know, um, <laughs> I'm not an actress, but I am a, uh, I'm a big Jim Carrey fan. <laughs> Seriously. Um, no, thank you, Real Talk. Seriously, though, um, that's what you got to know. What is it? that you're looking for so prime example everybody was just going on and on about the sony um xm3s that's what's up ad all right so the sony xm3s xm4s and i'm like yes i'm finally gonna get these earbuds they're on sale black friday and when i listen to them I actually wound up taking them off and putting on my Soundcore Liberty Pro 2s to listen to my music the way I want to hear it. Now, my AirPods Pro, YouTube videos, I can listen to music, but it's not going to be a listening session. It's not going to be a jam session. The bass struggles, they don't rattle, but it's just, I can tell a little distortion there. But I know what I like. And there are millions of people who love those Sony earbuds. And I wanted to take them back and get something else. So that's my answer to that question. Deidre, would you say I'm a character? An actress or a character? Neither. So I'm just boring. No. You're not boring. A hey, real talk, Deidre went to North Carolina A and T as well. Yes. Yes. I know what you're thinking. Why do you have baby oil on the kitchen table? No. <laughs> <laughs> hey. I'm not doing a review. That's my first time seeing the cocoa butter, though. Oh, yeah. I had a shoot a couple of weeks ago. And um, I've transformed my kitchen into my studio. Quite contrary. Don't tell me that. Don't challenge me to a good time. I just might. If my... Well, hey, technically, T... No, uh, I don't have any brothers. No brothers. I'm an only child. Back to the baby oil. 
T, you would be up here when I'm talking about baby oil. <laughs> I had a maternity shoot. Deidre, real talk wants to see you because you're an Aggie woman. And, and I got on my HBCU and you have on your... <laughs> All right. So anyway, I had a maternity shoot and, um, you know, this is, this kind of stuff is good for skin tone, for skin when you're trying to capture in the, her dress, you know, her was off the shoulder and then she had some leg, her legs were out in certain parts. So that's what that was about. I don't know where my clients are. They they must her face must be being beat. If you gave her the address for me, it told you to stop way down there. Well, so does my other one. But I also told her to call me when she was on her way. I thought I was lost. Cause I'm the Listen, there. if y'all if you ever find out my real address and you put it in GPS, it's like it Google intercepts your attempt to find me and sends you somewhere else. Cause it was not. I was like, I am lost. Deidre Real Talk says your skin is amazing. Do what? you do you use shea butter? No. <laughs> she was <laughs> Real Talk. She said. <laughs> <laughs> hey, come here, come here, come here, come here, baby. Say hey, everybody. Hey, sister, I want some attention too. Speaking of cutting out of videos, you had no you have no idea how many times I had to talk to chastise her to get down or get out when I was recording and I would or she would be scratching in her collar. You could hear it in the background, anything. I'm gonna be tired by the time she get here. I'd be like, we're gonna take ten pictures. We're gonna take ten snaps. <laughs> She gonna be here for fifteen minutes. I'd be like, okay. <laughs> no, they got my phone number. I'm like, okay, that's it for the day. <laughs> I, uh, what phone am I using? This is the iPhone 12 Pro Max, and I told y'all that I was gonna upgrade and get this. I was holding on to the eight plus for a long time, a long time. And I deserved this phone. And I deserved it so much that if I want to turn around and upgrade to the 13, I deserve that too. It's the 8. The 8 hung. Huh? I need to go on the upgrade. What do you have? One of the X's? You got the 6. She got the 6. Which one? The 7. She got the 7. I don't. <laughs> I'm just 